Hey, it's your boy Andrew Gavin. Don't go anywhere because in this video I want to share with you a concept called the latte factor. And I and I read it from the automatic millionaire. So let's get into it. You, you are gonna get pumped. I couldn't put this book down. Um, let's get into it. I want to show you how to become um, the why the rich get rich and the poorer get poorer, how to become uh, a millionaire uh, automatically from what David Bach teaches in The Automatic Millionaire. So let's get into it. Boom! People may think, oh, no, Automatic Millionaire, get rich quick. That is exactly not what this book is about. There is an actual way you can set up and become an automatic millionaire with no discipline, with no, with no experience, with nothing. You don't have to do anything and you can become an automatic millionaire. And I want to talk about it. I've read half of this book. I don't normally read books. It takes me a lot of time to read books. I read half of this book in just one sitting. I just couldn't put it down. And I'm going to share with you basically the, 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 the rough concept of the latte factor. This is what he describes and how you can become an automatic millionaire. So the latte factor is this. Uh, before we go any further, I want to show you what he actually talks about and I want to show you how you can actually speed up this process by using, by, by just applying this to cryptocurrency, to Bitcoin, all right? So, so you, can, you can actually uh, put this formula uh, on steroids and instead of waiting a long time, which this book does show you, I mean, this book came out in 2004, I wish I read it then, all right? So basically, this is what he talks about. He talks about the latter factor and how you can become an automatic millionaire by just saving five dollars a day all right and people don't like budgets people don't like saving um actually restricting on their budgets they don't work it's against human um nature that people they don't if they have to save and they can't have what they want that they're, they're not going to stick to it all right they're not going to write themselves a check every month right it has to be automatic so what he talks about is this concept, it comes, you talk about $5 a day and it comes out of your bank, either pre-tax or after-tax dollars. And by setting that up with your bank, you can set that up with your employee, um, uh, your employer, they'll, they'll do it for you. You can set it up into you know different accounts. But basically what you want to do is you want to save $5 a day and you want to take it out of that account when you get paid every fortnight or every month or every week, take that and put it into another savings account. And then put into some sort of investment vehicle that's going to return you 10% per year. So if you're looking at $5 a day, in the first year, you know, you're only going to save $1,885. No biggie. Year two, 2967 Year five, 11616 uh, Probably thinking that's not much. But then when you look at, look at it over long term, right, this really starts to add up. Five years, 10 years, 30,000. 15 years, 62,000. 30 years, 339,000. And when you get to the fourth year, 948,616. Like I said, I wish I'd read this book in 2014. I'd be already well on my way to just setting up this automatic millionaire concept. So this is just $5 a day. If you do $10 a day after 40 years, $10 a day, 40 years at 10%, um, interest, um, you would have 1.8 million, 1.8 to be exact, 1,897,224. One so literally, by setting up something and saving $10 a day, you'll never, like you'll be a multi-millionaire by the time you reach, you know, 40 years time. If you do $20 a day in 40 years at 10%, Nearly four million dollars, three million seven hundred and ninety-four dollars and forty-four cents, ninety-seven thousand four hundred forty-eight. But here's the problem: most people are too impatient. They don't want to do it. They'll just rather have their lattes. And in a um, in the webinar, actually webinar seminar that he did, um, a lady stood up and said, "You know, I can't save five dollars a day." So he he you know uh, brought a uh, went through with her, with the crowd there and, and went through a daily routine. And what she was doing was she was, she was, you know, buying a coffee in the morning, then uh, she'd go to work and then at 
um, mid-morning before lunch, you'd buy another coffee, buy another muffin or buy a fruit shake with a muffin. And and they actually estimated that she was already spending $20 before lunchtime, $20. And, she's, and she said that she couldn't save $5 a day. So again, habits will define you, right? This is why most people stay broke um, and they never ever get out of the rat race is because they don't have a plan um, and, and, they're, and they're just, their habits is those, those small things, right? It's the small things that you kept on spending, you know, you buy smokes, you buy cigarettes, you buy all these small things, they all add up. And over time, you know, you, you end up never reading, re, uh, leaving the rat race, you stay broke. When you retire, you have no money. The average American when they retire has $1,000 in savings. So that's basically the concept, right? It's, it's you know, in a nutshell. I mean, there's a lot to it, but there's basically in a nutshell. So that is how easy it is to become an automatic millionaire. $5 a day, 10% per year. When your wage comes out, either pre-tax or after-tax dollars, put into an account that's going to give you 10% per year. In 40 years time, you'll have nearly a million bucks at $5. At 10 bucks, you can have nearly you know, $2 million. Now, how does this apply to Bitcoin? You can accelerate this process because Bitcoin is roughly 4,000 right now. Now, I don't know the exact per year returns because you have to figure that out in a spreadsheet. But I'm just looking at the end of it. I think that Bitcoin can go from 4,000 to 100,000 in five years. That's, that's, that's a very, very conservative estimation. Five years time, absolutely. If you don't know Bitcoin, if you don't know blockchain, if you don't know crypto, and you haven't been following um, any of this, just this doesn't apply. All right, just stick to your fear. But the, the, you can get to this process. You can get to one million dollars within five years. This is how you do it. Instead of saving the five dollars per day, you still save the five dollars a day, but you convert it to Bitcoin straight away. Either the, whether that's weekly pay or monthly or bi-weekly, whatever, right? As soon as you get paid, you convert it to Bitcoin and you leave it You leave it as Bitcoin, right? You don't leave it as fiat, you leave it as Bitcoin. Because as the value of Bitcoin goes up, our guesstimation is 4,000 to 100,000, that's a 25X. So if you look at this at $5, you know, instead of having $11,661 um, times 25, you would have this, you know, 297, 290,400 in five years, $5 a day, flip it to Bitcoin. But let's just say you go $10 a day, you'd have 580,800, $5 a day, flipping it to Bitcoin, uh, $10 a day, sorry, flipping it to Bitcoin. Let's go to $20 a day, and if it goes to 100,000, you'd have $1,161,600 saving $10 a day to Bitcoin in five years time. You become a millionaire in five years time with Bitcoin using what David Bach shows you in the Automatic Millionaire. And that's the gist of it. I highly recommend you pick up this book. Like I said, I've only been, I've only read half of it. I couldn't put it down. I read the rest of the half today. But I wanted to share you this concept because he talks about this concept where he interviewed this couple called the McIntyres, which he goes through and in this book. And they basically told him this is how they were in their early 50s and they were already multimillionaires. They owned two houses, clean and clear, no debt. They had 100000 in cash in their bank and they had um, about $2 million in assets, which they owned and they were only in their 50s and they retired. Okay. Now, the average American, the average person that does, has less than $1,000 by the time they retire. These people had $2 million and they're only in their 50s. So really, really cool interview how he, how he talks the concept. But basically the gist of it is this. You pay yourself first, either pre-tax or after-tax dollars, and you save it up into a some sort of um, uh, savings account which is or some sort of um, investment vehicle that's going to give you 10% per day based on the fiat. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna take time. Most people are not impatient and they'll just spend their money on cigarettes and spend their money on lattes. It doesn't have to be the latte, but this is the concept. That's why I call it the latte factor. All right, most people won't do it. As soon as I read half of this book, I immediately, um, in, I immediately implemented this and I, 
uh, put in an automatic payment. I was just doing it manually. You know, I was getting around to it. I would do it, you know, once or twice a month. Um, well, once or twice um, every two or three months, right? I wasn't consistent. But when you set up an automatic debit into another account, right, it's automatic. You just set and forget, all right? So, again, highly recommend you check this out. This is a fantastic um, read. Even if you don't do anything, you just apply this, you become a millionaire. It's going to take you some time. But for you crypto lovers out there that you love your Bitcoin, you love your crypto, do this. It's exactly what I'm going to do, right? Flip it to Bitcoin once a month and let leverage the price of Bitcoin as it goes up. So do your savings. You're saving $5, $10 a day, okay? So I thought I'd share that with you. I'm just, I, I, I'm just blown away by this book. I just absolutely love it. The concepts in this book are why rich people become rich and broke people stay broke and why they retire and they got less than a thousand bucks. This book is absolutely gold. I picked it up on Amazon. I wish I would have read it in 2004. This is a new edition um, and it's been um, re, uh, redone with new things. Now, if you're in America, it goes over some um, what they call robo investments, all right? Uh, robo financing um, in investments. And basically what they are is online robo investments that basically instead of with a traditional um, uh, you know, uh, financial advisor, they do it through robo uh, or um, artificial intelligence. And he goes through some of the um, actual reputable companies that are actually doing this. It's only a new concept, all right? Um, again, you'll have to read the book, uh, but there's there's a couple of them. There's there's Vanguard.com, there's Betterment.com, there's um, there's a bunch of them here in this book. Um, Charles Schwartz, there's um, yeah, there's a bunch of them. In, uh, Fidelityinvestments.com. They're called Robo Advisors. This is the new uh, this is the new technology. All right, now, this is a really cool book. I got so much value so far i can't wait to read the rest of it so thanks for watching guys uh, appreciate it thanks for still sticking with me with this channel i got some new stuff coming up all right what i'm doing with amazon so if you haven't subscribed click on this subscribe do whatever i'm not big on youtube mainly on facebook but i will bring more videos soon okay guys so guys have a fantastic day thanks so much for sticking to the end i really appreciate it uh, if you could like and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell button below, then you'll get all my future videos and you won't miss my smiling face. I'm only kidding. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.